الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفاه والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى خصوصا على سيد الرسل وخاتم الانبياء وعلى اله الاسكياء واصحابه الاتقياء ما بعد الحمد لله we are in the month of Ramadan 2014 and it's a blessing to be in the month of Ramadan once again we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us all to benefit from the month of Ramadan the way we deserve to worship him in this month um, a part of the beauty of the month is that we have an opportunity to fast, we have an opportunity to pray our taraweeh prayer, all this dua, mashallah, the sacrifices of Ramadan are always there, so it brings a happiness. But this Ramadan, along with that happiness, there's also a great sad, sadness. And the sadness is that we are all aware of the situation in Palestine. Allah have mercy on those who have lost their lives and those who are losing their lives. You know, subhanAllah, the, the difficulty they're going through and the young kids that are being made orphans and the women that are being made widows, we can never imagine what pain they're going through. You know, for us, a single prick in the hand would, would be a source of us screaming, ouch. But here we're talking about limbs being blown off the body. Here we're talking about skins being burned and probably no source of proper medication. So at this time when they are going through such difficulty, we as an ummah have to remember that we are one family. And if my father was to go through this, if my brother was to go through this, I would lose my sleep. So likewise, as someone from the Ummah of the Prophet ﷺ, when I see another Muslim going through difficulty, I should also share that person's pain. And the best thing that we can do while being here, and the most powerful thing we can do, is raise our hands and make dua. Now along with that, there are, there are other things that you are capable of doing, like boycotting certain products that may finance those who are uh, oppressing the, the Muslims in Palestine, then go ahead and do that. If you can raise your voice, if you can write something, if you can donate, if you can do something in your community, create awareness, those are all great things. But those are all things that can be done, you know, as a community. People in the community can do them. But one thing that I want every person to try to focus on individually is to build our connection with Allah and raise our hands and ask Allah to help the Muslims in Palestine. Because never ever underestimate the power of dua. The greatest battles in Islamic history that were won, that were won or one through the power of dua, not through the power of numbers. Dawud alayhi battle against Jalud is a witness to this. The battle of Badr is a witness to this. And all the great battles in Islamic history are all witness to this, that the fewer in number that were making dua to Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala assisted them. Now, in this particular situation where Muslims are being oppressed, you know, uh, openly and greatly, one of the best duas that we can do is fo by following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa is praying qunut and nazila. Qunnat al nazila is something the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa would pray at a time where a portion of the Muslims' ummah was being oppressed or a group of people had been oppressed greatly. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa would raise his hands in Fajr Salah after the ruku of the second rakah and he would pour his heart out and make a very powerful dua in the Fajr prayer in Jama'ah. So we encourage everyone to inshallah join us on July 18th. In your community, wherever you are, Reach out to your masjid and ask them to also join us in, the, in, the, in this Qunut and Nazira, inshallah. You will do it individually, we'll do it individually, but we'd like to make July 18th a very special day where the Qunut and Nazira is being recited throughout the world, inshallah, and Aziz. You know, Masajid throughout the US, Masajid throughout the UK, Masajid throughout Canada have already confirmed and through all, throughout the world in many different countries. Today, today, alhamdulillah, we received news that even on July 18th, the Qunut and Nazira will be read in Beit al-Maqdis itself. So be a part of this beautiful effort, and inshallah, when this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, accept from us all, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remove the difficulty and pain from our brothers and sisters in Palestine, and those that are going through difficulty, may Allah reward them many folds in the hereafter. Wa sallallahu ta'ala, Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sallam, Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.